All right, fourth grade, time to take notes on lesson 4.6. This is our objective. I can use the distributive property to find quotients. All right, here we go. So, as you might remember, the distributive property is all about distributing something, right? Giving something out. Um, in this case, we're going to be distributing the divisor to parts of the dividend. So, as you can see, I used colors to show you, right? Um, we have a 6, 69 divided by 3. So, the first thing we're going to do is, let me get my color here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to draw um, an array to show 3 going into 69. And we're going to break up the 6 and the 9 by place value. So, we're going to have... 3 going into 60, and 3 going into 9. We'd show it like this. So we count 3 down. 1, hmm, let me try that again. 1, 2, 3, right? And now I need to go 69, right? Squares. Well, I know 10 times 3 would be 30 squares. So if I went 10 across, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that would be 30 squares if I turn that into a rectangle. But I want 69, so I'm going to go another 10, which will be 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so that's 60 right there. Oops, I went down too far. Fix that in a second. There we go. So there's 60, right? And then, so we did 60. Now we need to do 9. 3 times 3 is 9. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So you would write 3 because there's 3 down. We went across. There's 60 squares in here, 3 times 20. And then... There are nine squares in there. So now you can kind of use this array to figure out the quotient. Well, how many groups of three are in 60? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, right? So there are 23 groups of 3 and 69. Another way to think of it is, right, first we did 60 divided by 3, right, and then we're going to add on 9 divided by 3. 60 divided by 3, well, basic fact, 6 divided by 3 is 2. How many zeros? 1. Plus 9 divided by 3, that's 3. Your final answer is 23. So 69 divided by 3 is 23. Let's do another one. 91 divided by 7. Now, sometimes you're not going to be able to break it up by place value, right? 7 doesn't go into 90, and it doesn't go into 1. So now you're going to have to think, how can I break up 91 into two numbers that 7 divides evenly into. Hmm. Well, you know, thinking of compatible numbers, I know 10 times 7 is 70, and that's pretty close to 91. If I broke one number up into 70 divided by 7, how many would I have left to get from 70 to 91? 10 more would be 80, 10 more would be 90, and then 1, oh, so I'd have 21 to go, and I know that's divisible by 7. So I'm going to use that. So I would go down 7, oops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? I'd go over 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, So there's by 7 by 10. There's 70 in that. And then 21, 1, 2, 3, 
right? Oops, why did I write 10 here? That's by 70, right? And this is my 21. There we go. So now think, we just talked about, right? 70 divided by 7 is 10. I forgot my plus sign up there. 10, right? And then 21 divided by 7 is 3. 10 plus 3 is 13. So our quotient is... 13. Now remember, to check your work, you can always do divisor times your quotient, and it should give you your dividend. So let's check. So, divisor times quotient, 7 times 13. 3 times 7 is 21. Carry the 2. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 2 is 9. Did we get our dividend? Yes, we did. So we must have gotten the right answer. So really, this lesson is all about breaking apart your dividend into two numbers that are e that are divisible, right? That are, can be easily divided into or evenly divided into by your divisor. Okay, let's try one more together. Um, I think Sicily, Sicily, picked 219 apples. She divided the apples equally into three baskets. How many apples are in each basket? Okay, so now, right, this is what you need to write down. 219 apples divided equally into three baskets. How many baskets, apples in each basket? Okay. So basically, we're doing 219 divided by 3. Now, I see a couple numbers in here that are definitely divisible by 3. First thing I see is this, and then I see this, right? So I know, right, 21, or really, this stands for 21 tens, which is 210 divided by 3 would be easy to do because I know 21 is divisible by 3. And then I would add, right, I have 9 left, so then I would do 9 divided by 3. That worked out kind of nicely. So 210 divided by 3, basic fact, 21 divided by 3 is 7. How many zeros? 1. Plus 9 divided by 3 is 3. So our quotient is 73. Let's check. So we would do 73, our quotient, times our divisor, and we should get our dividend. Let's check it out. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 7 is 21. Did we get our dividend? Yes, we did. So we must be right. Okay, here are your practice problems. Jordan has 260 bas basketball cards. He divides them into four equal groups. How many cards are in each group? Remember, use that distributive property, break apart that 260 into two numbers that, that can be divided into equally by four. Your second problem is Phil has 189 stamps to put into his stamp album. He puts the same number of stamps on each of nine pages. How many stamps does Phil put on each page? Again, ooh, I see some numbers in there that are easily divided by nine. So take your time. If you need to rewatch, go ahead and do so, and we'll see you tomorrow.